down and she will preach and where we were having the church on assignment on the mission Papa, we when before this unveiling I traveled to live in England for four years when I came back home we went through some dark patch of life from 2010 to 2015 five years we didn't know it was the lord that was preparing us every door shut everything closed nobody wanted to invite us the only person that invited me countlessly was reverend dr christy dotete until people said what is it that this guy has that this woman in a year can invite me like 14 15 times so people were curious five years even where alabaster is they took it from us it belonged to my family they took it from us for three years we were not having church there it was a dark patch one day i got a prophetic word i traveled out of the country prophetic word started unfolding i went to a place that ministry strange things happened God honored and the people gathered revenue. I came back. People, I mean individuals. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Went close to 60 something, almost $70,000. When I came back to Accra and I said to the day, I really like Range Rover Vogue. So I went to PhD Motors. I saw the car. I took pictures. I brought it home. I said, did you come and see? I feel like I want to buy this car. She said, what in your lifetime have you been able to do for God? You as an individual. Now you have to do something. You have to do something. This money is not for us. Scratch it. Please. Please, please, please. This money is not for us. This money is not for us. What have you done for God? I said nothing. Apart from screaming. She said, let's build God a church. Then we can tell God based on this do this and that we took almost the seventy thousand dollars i went and then i came back home i said at least let's buy a small car so that you haven't read too much taxi not the annual day she said no i don't like this money I don't like this man because before that time four to six months i had never preached in church i was discouraged to the point of being depressed so if we are going to church i sit down and she will preach and where we were having the church she preached and people started coming four months the place could be packed people are outside five months the people are flowing overflowing and then one day i said i want to preach no i was agitating behind the steering she said it's okay is everything okay baby i said i feel like i have a word what's the word the bane which word you have not preached for five months which word i don't think you have any word so i feel like preaching she said, are you, because you are seeing people, you want to preach? Okay, preach. And then, I preached that day. So I took the money and I said to her, let's buy a small car at least. She said, no, I don't like this money. This money, it doesn't belong to us. So we dug foundation on the 26th of December. And we finished the project on the 16th of February. Less than two months. The building was roofed. The building is at Sapeman. 
at the Gawest district sitting on a 40 plots of land the moment we roof the building somebody drove a car to the place and gave the keys to me and said we were praying last night and the Lord told me to bring you this car the serious charge the, the discipline in the obedience ladies and gentlemen we are giving but I don't think we have come to the place yet to bring our asset to Mount Moria we have not come to that place yet a savior has a charge and I'm going to close with this in this before before I start a very short ministration before we even lift our voice in praying in the spirit tonight all over the internet I want to use this there is a charge that I'm talking about there is a the ability to obey God regardless regardless irrespective of that ability I, I'm telling you that there are people who bought flight tickets almost ten thousand dollars it was not because the money was sitting there it's because they want to just obey the Lord just obey the Lord seventy thousand we gave it to the Lord like that now let me tell you the testimonies all the television stations and radio stations that I went to beg that we have small money they should give us air time to preach they turn it down but after that building came up that is where the elevation started my father Reverend Steve Mensah invited me Papa one Sunday to come and preach first service second service I preached a very simple message teach them was the title that up, when the message when the message is 37 38 minutes in in you know the message young man was watching me on YouTube immediately I finished preaching he took the 37 uh, 38 minute message and then compressed it to 2 minutes 7 seconds and then sent it to my email how he got it I didn't and then he sent a message check what I have sent to you if you like it let me know I download I have never seen anything like that on Monday I sent him a message I like it and then listen then I posted that video the moment I posted that video Ohima Messi called me today is her birthday happy birthday to her she called me 10 minutes after I posted the video she said Papa what trend and I said what is that what is trend because at the time social media was not as popular as that what trend within just about one hour somebody the video had hit Israel people were calling from everywhere you know strange happenings now all the stations where I went to bed including UTV okay FM vision one including XYZ television including a man some fit television all these guys came to me and offered me airtime for free so free now the airtime for free the, where I Show, please I all of them gave it to for free UTV my original time was 5 30 on Wednesday dawn they said to me director says he loves you Dr. Sir Kwame Despai say he loves you he wants your preaching at daytime so they started playing at daytime Tuesday daytime Thursday one hour for free so three air times up to today I have never met Osei Kwame before up to today just one obedience to the charge only one just one I, I didn't know what it meant for people to come online and they flood a page one day my friend called and said Govi program now do you realize the number of people that are following it is that friend that made me know that people follow I didn't know and he said i said how then he pointed to me to the eyeballs and the numbers and then i realized but when the time the thing hits online within just about 10 minutes you know where well, you are almost like 3k already you know i go like you know is this real or is it inflated numbers one charge one obedience one charge one obedience hey I mean people travel from around the world 
to come to Allah. Let's welcome the prophet of God. Alabaster. The Lord sent me, I should bring you this. The Lord said, I should bring you that. The Lord said, I should bring you this. Recently, Papa, the shocking bit of them all, there is a, there is a retired gynecologist consultant in the United Kingdom. He's a Ghanaian with his wife. He said, I have been following you for five years. I have listened. I am a theologian myself. I have listened to you for five years. And I dedicate my pension to bless you. One charge, one obedience. This last Sunday, this man, she, you know, we had a little meeting on Zoom. She said, Go, he said to me, Kofi, let's finish this meeting and I'll call you after. Immediately after the meeting, he called me. He said, You are going to Accra Academy to preach tomorrow. Have 15,000 CDs. Just the video, fuel, fuel for the team and all that. But I have dedicated that commitment to support you all my life. One charge. Precious one, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Click on the notification bell. Whenever I drop any new video, you'll be the first person to watch. God bless you.